Meanwhile, a new pilot project is offering a more immediate but temporary approach to getting homeless off the streets. And it's funded by the state but managed by the city. Sarah Madison joins us with more details on this story. Sarah. Howard, it's called HONU, or the Homeless Outreach and Navigation for Unsheltered Persons. The Honolulu Police Department will have 10 tents for the project in hopes to help those in need as soon as possible. These are the tents used for the Honu Mobile Navigation Centers that will serve as a temporary overnight shelter if existing shelter space is not available. These shelters uh, have very specific purposes and they're used in the emergency response business. And this is a unique approach where they can set something up and set up a temporary shelter. There will be health care and social service officials on site along with Honolulu police presence. I think especially for people encountered in the middle of the night who have very few emergency shelters that can accommodate people overnight. So this will fill a critical gap in our homeless service system. The first park that was chosen is the Waipahu Cultural Garden Park, where the Hawaii's plantation village is also located. The spot was picked because of the number of homeless people in the park. Our concerns was our guests. We have a lot of tourists, especially a lot of children that come here. As we talked with the city and HPD, keep talking with them, having meetings, then we thought, okay, um, we should try it. It's a pilot program, and people need a second chance. I feel that the majority of my constituents feel that we would be far better off to have the homeless uh, occupying or residing the, in the kind of setting that the home, home project will provide rather than for the homeless to remain on the streets. The plan is to have several of these tents on site for 60 to 90 days and then move to another part of the island so neighborhoods will not have to worry about having a permanent structure set up. Now, the budget for the three-year pilot project is $6 million. The governor and mayor are expected to speak about the project at a news conference tomorrow afternoon. We learn these tents could go up as soon as this week. Back to you, Bridget.